Welcome back. It's a great day here at Datas R Us. In this clip, a research student is inquiring about how to interpret data on a scatter plot. Let's roll the clip. Welcome to Datas R Us. How can I help you? I am a new research student and my professor handed over this set of dots showing information about Seattle's monthly rainfall. Don't worry, I got you covered. Get it? Covered. Yeah, can we get back to the dots? Sure thing. This is called a scatter plot. The dots are scattered throughout the chart. The title on the scatter plot states monthly rainfall in Seattle. The horizontal axis shows the months and the vertical axis shows the amount of rainfall in inches. So in the month of April, there was three inches of rain. Let's check. Find April on the chart and then the dot. The dot lines up with three inches. That is correct. You are a fast learner. My professor wants to know what fraction of the months it rained less than four inches. Things are going to get real stormy if I don't come up with the answer for him. I like what you did right there with stormy. Your gray skies are going to clear up because I have the answer for you. Label the amount of rainfall for each month. Then circle all the months with less than four inches of rain. It looks like there are seven, but he wants a fraction. Rain it in there girl I am getting to that. A fraction represents a part of a whole. The numerator of the fraction is the part which we know is 7 and the denominator is the whole. Is it 12 because there are 12 months in a year? Bingo! So the fraction would be 7 twelves. If I want to find the total amount of rain for the year do I just add all the points together? That is correct. Good thing we labeled them in our last problem. So I take the data from each month and add them together. It gives me a total of 38 inches. I gotta go turn this in. Thanks, you have been extremely helpful. Hey, miss don't forget your umbrella.